Welcome back. We're picking up this video exactly where we left off the last one at our brand new village that we're building out to expand our empire. But this village that we're currently standing in needs a lot of work that we're gonna get to in today's video. Also, if I step within the boundaries of the village, you'll see that at the top, there is an upgrade available. And there is upgrade number three. One of the goals of this video is to get it to level 10. And as you can see, Hasey is very happy. This man doesn't even live at my village though. I got no villager friends here. And that's another thing I need to do. So if you couldn't already tell, today's episode is dedicated to the grind. A bunch of stuff needs to get done. And I'm excited for you guys to join me on the journey today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you can say you were here before a million. Code Cows in the item shop as well. If you guys are buying any Lego Fortnite sets or skins in the item shop. But with all that being said, let's get to work. Before we do anything, let's just see how far we can upgrade this village before I actually need to build more things inside of the radius. Let's see if we can upgrade here. It looks like we can. We need not root. And I actually just grabbed a bunch of resources, so I should be able to upgrade this thing until I can't. It looks like level 5 is available, and yep, I have everything I need, so that's level 5. Level 6 is also available. I have that. Okay, we're just on a roll here. Seven's available, and I'm missing some not root rods. That was fun. We're gonna do one more for now, and it looks like it's not even ready to upgrade again. So I guess we just need to build more before we can do that. Anyway, coming down this walkway, you can see that we started building out our first street in the city. I had to move some things around, and I actually had to move this entire statue area over one stud, but I did that off camera. Anyway, it's time to fix up the rest of the street because it's not a line. He's gone, but we have finished the first part of the road. It looks pretty fun. I don't know if you guys remember those rugs from when you were probably in like kindergarten that had the cities on them. I hope I'm not alone. If you guys remember those, comment down below, but that's kind of what this is looking like. This also helps my vision of where we can lay out future buildings. So as you can see, I think right here, I wanna leave a cul-de-sac. And the way that I'll do that is I'll just lay out some nightly wide floors like this. Okay, and that'll have to do for now. I know the edges aren't perfect, but yeah, cul-de-sac here, and then we can continue on this way, and I'll eventually build a sidewalk here, and then a building right where I'm standing, but we'll do that in a little bit. There's a few things I need to get to before we do that, first of which is something that I've been meaning to do for a little bit of time, and it was punch out these walls and build a balcony here, because on one side, we have a staircase that connects to our patio. On this side, we just had some windows, but if you take a look at it from this side, it still looks a little flat to me, so I think adding a balcony here is gonna help. And here is what we're working with. We got the top patio as well as a bottom patio. So we'll go up here first and I'll show you guys this. Nothing extraordinary. It's very basic. And jumping down here, also more of the same. One thing that's definitely missing is a doorway to get inside from the balcony. So we're gonna work on that really quickly. Why doesn't this fit? Wait, what? How does this not fit? Dang, that would've looked so good too. I wonder why this doesn't fit. Maybe I'm, oh, my game crashed. Oh my, it just crashed again. All right, we're back in. It's honestly kind of scary how often my game has been crashing today. So I got to get that thing out of here immediately. But before I crashed, I was putting a door on. So let's find a door that'll actually fit. I'm so bummed the barn door doesn't fit though, because this one's so nice looking with the double door. What's blocking it? Is it this floor? It's this floor. Was that it? Don't tell me that was it. It was. Oh, that's not good. Because now the grass is peeping through. This has become a whole problem. <laughs> Okay, well, that'll have to do. There's just a little dip to the doorway. I am just a little confused about that, but I guess. Anyway, let's come up here and fix this, and then we're gonna go destroy the pyramid, because that's what we gotta do next. So everything's good here. The patios look great, and I love the double doors here. But I believe that this in front of us here is the cause of all of my crashes, and I need to get rid of it immediately. Brother, my game crashed again. Okay, so my game has actually crashed three times since the last cut, and it's taken me about 30 minutes to get from my village to this pyramid. But now I'm here, and we're just gonna start destroying this thing a lot more because I am having major, major problems with this. And also, every time I explode this thing, it's gonna lag the server, and then I think the pyramid might move. Is it gonna move? Let's see. Oh, 
it did move. Okay. We just have to continue on our way and we are tearing this thing down for good. I really hope this fixes the lag and it's not a world issue now, but let's continue. Ow. And it crashed again. Bang. So that is my last boom barrel. I don't have any more blast powder in my inventory, unfortunately. And oh my goodness, this thing is flying all over the place. But it just turned into nighttime and that's when you can grab blast powder from skeletons. Only thing is I have to make a new sword and triple enchant it with luck. And I gotta be quick because the night times don't last very long. But we got a triple luck sword and let's see how much blast powder we can get. I hope it's a lot. Okay, we got three already. We're just gonna run through the desert tonight and find as much as we can. No, I was one hit away from getting them. Ah, oh, well, I got 16. That's honestly not that much. And we're bringing it right back to the pyramid so we can hopefully get close to finishing this up. I don't know how many more we're gonna need, but this has been such a long process. I regret building this thing in the first place now. I believe this is our last boom barrel for now. The pyramid is definitely getting torn apart. But we've destroyed more of the pyramid and I think we're in a good place to pick up the building because I actually don't have the warning on my screen anymore. So I've sort of kind of fixed the problem. I just need to continue scraping this down and I think I'm going to be a lot less laggy and have a lot less crashes. That was the plan and I'm happy that it sounds like that's going to happen. Anyway, we're back over here. This is where I want to put a building down later in this video. But as you may have seen when I was hunting down those skeletons, I was using my grappler a lot. I also really don't feel like doing the grapple refresh glitch where you have to respawn too often because it takes a lot of time and it's kind of annoying so i think i have decided what i want to do with this first villager building like i said when i was building this thing the whole entire purpose of this structure is just to have villagers working on some of the utility stations and like i said i think i decided on what i want the villagers to do for me first so let's first off get rid of this crafting bench and with this room completely emptied it's time to put in our first station which is going to be a metal smelter let me go grab some resources and I'll explain a little more. So the reason I wanted to put down metal smelters behind me here was because I need to assign my villagers to make me copper bars. What I want to turn this building into right now is my grapple factory, basically where I can produce unlimited amounts of grapplers. That way I can waste them, let them disappear, and not feel bad about it. I can almost completely automate the process, so let's open up our garage doors and let's get to work. I know this is not the greatest place to put a bed because it's a garage, but you know what? This is all we got right now. Our villagers are going to have to deal with it. But speaking of villagers, I don't have any yet. So let me see if there's any around here. I don't care who they are. I just want them to, you know, help me work. But it doesn't look like any are here at the moment. And that's okay. As they pull up, I'm going to make sure that I take them in. But we're ready for a village upgrade again. I need some marble slabs and some amber. I think I can make that happen. Let's go ahead and upgrade our village to level eight. Level nine is about halfway there. I'm not in a hurry to get there though, because like I said, I have no villager friends. There you are. I see you at every one of my villages. What's your name? Silas. Hello, Silas. He says he'll stay at my village for the night. I'm going to say, you know what? Let's take it a step further and you should live here. But it says that without a bed he can't live here you know what i know why it's because the village line is literally right there and i put the beds outside of the line i couldn't have placed it any worse and you know i actually hate putting my villagers in the garage it doesn't feel like a place i want them to sleep so instead i'm gonna put them up here now let's go find silas hopefully he didn't disappear i think he said he was gonna stay the night so he has to be here somewhere ah and there he is look at him he's hiding behind the rock it's almost like this man was hiding from me but who knows anyway let's go ahead and say yes we have a bed for you and he is our first villager and i almost just left him but i realized that i have to give him a job now but let's talk jobs help the village refining job and smelt metal as long as i have a metal smelt I can make it happen. Perfect. So that is villager number one, but I'm just realizing I'm wasting precious time because it's nighttime again. I've already shown you a time lapse of me doing the same exact thing, but I'm just going to go ahead and hunt down some more skeletons and hopefully walk away from tonight rich with blast powder. And after night two out here in the desert, we got a little bit more and I feel like my world is already less laggy and I haven't gotten a crash in a minute. So that's a good sign as well. It's just so satisfying to watch that sometimes. Oh, wait. 
it doesn't say building is disabled anymore. I think we figured it out, guys. I think we figured it out. There's villager number two. I feel like Sprocket would be a good villager to put on a compost bin just because she's kind of car themed. Either way, though, we're not using her for that. We're using her to make us copper. So that is villager number two. And now I'm wondering where Silas is because I feel like I should be able to get some copper from him. Ah, there he is. Okay, let's see what he's got for me. I don't know if it's been three days yet. I believe he said he needed three and he's only 17% done. Okay, well, I guess I'm just impatient. And we've got our inventory full of goodies that we're gonna use to build, and we're gonna start here in the garage behind me. Like I said, this building is gonna be a grapple factory, and right now, I have my villagers working on copper. Speaking of villagers, there's Roan. Anyway, the villagers are working on copper up there, so down here, I gotta store all of my cord, because believe me, I have maybe five chests filled all the way with cord, so we need a place to store them, and the garage is the perfect place for that. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this, but I do want to keep the middle part open so I can actually park a tiny little car in here. So all of the design and stuff is going to be within these boundaries here. That way I can keep the middle clear. Okay, and that should be about good. But my villagers are bothering me, so let me see if he has any copper. Has it been long enough? Oh, he gave me copper and glass. Let's see, so 20 copper and 10 glass. Pretty solid, which brings me to the next place we need to place some builds, and that's up here. I'll take you guys through the garage in a second, but I recently realized that since I say I'm producing all this stuff, I'm gonna also need the right amount of storage. But let's go ahead and take you through the garage real quickly. If we hop inside of here, I just realized that it's missing light. I'll do that in a second, but as you walk in here, nothing too much to see other than this cool little shelf with a bunch of grand chests all over this place. This locker from the Durberger bundle is one of my favorite things because it totally feels like it should be in a garage. I mean, it's got that gray locker feel to it. And I'm definitely going to be using these storage spots as well for my cord. Why are my villagers having such a... Bro... Why, why can't they get through this door? And I feel a little bit better now that the garage is built. I'm gonna empty out my inventory so I can go grab all the cord in my world, transport it over, and then we'll get started. And psych, I think I said earlier that I had like five chests filled with cord. I only have four at the moment and one's not completely filled. So I have these two up here and then I have this one and this one is still working on being filled out. I gotta get more cord. That way I never worry about it. Although I don't think I ever will with this much to begin with. Now our limiting factor when it comes to producing grapplers is definitely the blast powder. So I'm gonna need just like a ridiculous amount more but i'm gonna do that off camera because i've been doing that so often in my videos recently taking a look at it one last time i like when you run by this place and now it has stuff inside of it very underrated also it looks like you could probably park three cars inside of here the cars are gonna have to be pretty tiny though because there's not a ton of clearance here i mean it's 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 very short but enough of that it's time to get to the fun part of the video which is gonna be this build we're gonna end off the video with a build here the purpose of this room is gonna be for more storage believe it or not. I know there's so much storage going on, but I'm trying to stock up so I can always have everything I need and never sacrifice. So we have a lot of chests in there. Over here is going to be a lot more, maybe some overflow, just a place to have absolutely everything. Because if I'm going to be living within these two villages, I got to make sure it's fully stocked at all times. So it looks like the first thing we have to do is continue on the sidewalk, and then we'll find out exactly how much room we have to build. <laughs> We worked on the entire street and now we have a defined spot of land as you can see we're going to build right in this area and also one thing that i hate about this game is this right here it bugs me so much i wish you could somehow just flatten the landscape and i know that's probably never going to be possible in this game who knows maybe they will do that one day i have no idea but for now it's kind of frustrating when stuff goes through the ground it just makes it look so ugly but we're gonna have to deal with it because what else are we gonna do but yeah let's get started on the build today like i said the goal is a storage room i have no idea what I'm gonna do but we got to try something And I completely forgot to record the end of that time lapse, but I feel like it doesn't really matter. You guys see what's behind us here. It's the beginning of our newest build. And yes, I said the beginning. We're going to be doing a ton more to this thing. I would say it's probably about 75% of the way there, but I need to build a huge roof for it and a few more stories because it's actually going to go up even more. Most likely I'll build like two more stories, but let's go ahead and take you guys inside for the first time. So as you walk in, you're greeted by three sets of staircases 
staircases and this interesting wood design as you guys can see on the outside of the wall it's blue but i doubled up the walls so that i could have more control over the colors that are used if that makes sense so we got a wood design going on inside of here as you go up the staircase into the main entrance you are met with just a whole lot of stuff like this place looks huge and that's why i'm not going to build any further in today's video because i need to figure out what i'm actually doing with this place first i have a ton of room i believe the idea is to have storage right up against this wall as you walk in i feel like that'll look super cool this is the downstairs area it's ginormous and then you can also go under the staircases the floor isn't finished here continuing onwards after you have all of the chests you can come up on either side with this cool little half spiraling staircase and you have this upstairs area this is probably going to be where a lot of my utility stations are and just a reminder this area is not within the boundaries of our village over there so no villagers will be able to work on anything here which is a little unfortunate but i knew that before i even started building so it's not a big deal i forgot to show you guys that i have a balcony that goes 360 around this entire thing and you can even see back inside from here one day if they add glass that you can put as window panes i'm definitely going to build some glass here but for now this is what we got and like i said this wraps around the entire building even the back side so that's pretty cool the reason that i'm going to keep the third floor so basic is because i'm just going to put another staircase right here that's going to go up to the fourth which is going to be a ginormous room i'm thinking in terms of design the top is going to look a little something like the dojo but with different colors obviously and another thing is it's going to hang over the build so these two stories right here are going to be in the shade because this thing is going to overpower it anyway i have a lot of plans i don't even know if that made sense but it's going to be sick and i can't wait to go ahead and continue doing that next episode i'm going to finish the interior as well next video is going to be an absolute banger so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you watched all the way until the end and you're somehow not subscribed if you guys are still watching though comment cheese down below i need to start putting cheese in my inventory again i'm gonna also do that next episode we got to bring the cheese back i'm being honest it's been too long anyway we're gonna end this one here so i can get started on the next one again make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it it's been your boy cats thank you so much for watching all the way until the end i'll catch y'all later peace